Okay, let's move on to the hands-on. Uh, in this hands-on, we are going to open an existing report and we are going to add subtotals by using the advanced options. We are going to search for a report called Executive Business User Data. Then we are going to click on Edit Totals and we are going to use the subtotals editor. First and foremost, we are the function that we are going to use is the summation which is called as total in MicroStrategy. Then we are going to go to the advanced tab and we are going to choose the across level and we'll choose across only two of the attributes that is subcategory and quarter. And then we are going to notice how for each subcategory and for each quarter you have totals displayed. So for example, this total over here is for every subcategory uh, and it's also for each quarter, but for the overall quarters, it's this total over here. And then we are going to change the function from a summation to maximum. And we are going to change uh, the uh, from the uh, level of uh, Okay, Anna, sure. Thank you. So we, uh, we, we are going to change from across level to by position. Then we are going to edit those and instead of displaying at the bottom of each level, we are going to display it at the top of each level. Let's go back to the browser for this. I'm referring to page number 35 of the Word document. So click home. And we are going to search for a report called Executive Business User Data. So I already have got the report name in the search. So click on this report. Now this report doesn't have any totals. So let's say, uh, before I move on to the hands-on, let's say that you generally want to just view all the totals in the report. Just click on this Show Totals and uh, it shows you the total for each, uh, each it shows you across uh, every row and across columns. So I don't want it to be displayed like this, so I clicked on the undo button. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on edit totals. Now this is my subtotals editor, this is my definitions tab, this is my advanced tab and this is my display tab over here. Now, what's the function I want to I want to choose? I want to select total. So, select total. So, it's going to display at subtotals level and also at the grand total level. Now, I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I'm going to do it across level and I want to do it at both quarter and subcategory. If I would do only quarter, it would be uh, since it's it's uh, it's breaking on quarter, it would still display over here. But assume that it was not breaking on quarter, then it would display only one grand total over here. For now, let me choose quarter and subcategory, and I am going to click OK. So this is my total for each subcategory, and this is for the overall quarters over here. Now. I don't want to do, I don't want to see sum, I want to do, I, let's say I want to do, change it to maximum. So click on edit totals again. Now if you want to change something to uh, maximum first uncheck, to uncheck you have to check this and uncheck again and select maximum and click on Okay. Now I want to choose the position, so go back to edit subtotals and I'm going to do it by position, but I want I don't want any subtotals in the column. I don't want this part to be displayed here. So I'm going to do click on none and I'm going to click on none in pages two. So I want this, I want the totals to be displayed by position, but I want to display only by rows. So let's see how the grid changes and click on OK. So notice how you're displaying only by rows. 
Now, let's, the last thing we do is we change the display. Let's see how to display maximum at the top of each level. Click, uh, enable the subtotals editor. Click on display. And you see that the positions by row are at the bottom of each level. And you see this red line sitting below the grid. So click on top of each level. Notice how this indicates the position of the subtotal. And click on OK. And I would say uh, this is there's no such thing as grand maximum but if if i have to define it this is the total of uh, or it's the maximum of all maximums and uh, this is the maximum for each level probably this is not a correct subtotal function to uh, use for uh, this particular report but i just wanted to show you how the subtotals editor works